Hi Collective, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone. If you didn't just come back and you are new to my channel, then subscribe, right? So that way you will get all notifications when I do my uploads, because I do multiple of them. I do believe in the Secrets of the Universe 369, so I like to do things in threes and sixes and nines and things like that, so you'll often see a lot of multiple readings and it's also so you can find out more and watch more readings or sometimes one may not resonate with you and another one does sometimes it is, it's an extension and more who knows that's going to be for you to decide so anyway I've been playing with the Akashic um, tarot today and getting into the realm and I was actually listening to the frequency of 963 which is 369 reversed right which is really the frequency high vibrational of connecting with divine so crown chakra activation is opening up and all of that and it pulled through a lot of energies right especially as we're in this lion's gate still we're closing out the energy though right as the um the gateways it is closing right for august i say it's open through leo season but uh, there's a lot of a lot of different stuff about the portal when it's closing i think a lot of people are saying that's closing today right or whatever um, Anyway, <laughs> I very much am still feeling flows of energy that, that are coming in, definitely. Um, I, I stopped the last reading because it was a lot of like numerology and stuff like that was coming out. So anyway, I felt to do another reading. It might be in alignment with that one, it might not. I don't know, we'll see, because I just tuned to the frequency. So let's see, source. Let's show me more about the Sakashic Tarot messages for today. King of Roses came out. Well, I'm going to do this again, though, because I think he came out reversed, and these cards do matter reversals, and they're far too deep for me to distinguish because I get multiple angles on them. Um, but they're bringing out this, the initiation of Count St. Germain. A lot of you are going through initiations, right? And you're proving your, your worthiness to be able to shift paradigms is... It's major leveling up, so a lot of you are getting tests and, and all sorts of stuff, right? To see if you're ready. The muse. And you're also in this creative energy where you're you're creating your new timelines. We um we have a very, very powerful and your here's confirmation that I'm assessing the Akashic records that a lot of you um <laughs> yeah, he still boldly on the table we're going to take a look at him anyway but what I'm getting at is that um, this very powerful time of, of, of accessing things improving your worthiness and if you're going to repeat cycles or change paradigms as we know that right so there, there's a lot of initiations going on, right? You could be noticing the color purple being very, very vivid. That's confirmation of you, of or confirmation for you. That you're going through an initiation of purple. is just like very, very, vi very, very vibrant to you. And the major crown chakra activations, right? It's a lot of you could just be having major crown chakras activations, but I'm getting very strongly that that has to do with um, the initiation and confirmation for those of you that are going to come in alignment with it. Alright, let's get more on so you can see. Seven of Roses is coming out. This was out of <laughs> in my last reading. We got another king here. The King of Forces is coming out now. See that blue and purple? Look at that very, very beautiful frequency. Certain things can activate too. Could be confirmation you seeing this blue purple here <laughs> wishes fulfilled look at what's coming out this is coming on top of the four of scrolls the karmic trenches for some of you you're literally coming out of karmic cycles you're coming out of the trenches and now you're getting a wish fulfilled so if you have proven yourself <laughs> if you have came out of this karma, whatever this was, pass these tests, serve them, served your karma, whatever, you're in for a big surprise, right? We've got the master artisan that came out as well, the eight of keys. A lot of eights are coming out, right? A lot of fours. We've got 13 here, which is a four, the Buddha prepares. So for a lot of you, 
you have went into this energy of like um, meditation of stillness of the mind of finding out how to control things how to assess things this is a lot of you are realizing that things happen in fact for you and not to you sometimes the change of perspective allows you to come out of these frequencies okay because you start to have paradigm shifts you start to see things in new ways and in new lights. You start to realize that you very much reflect a lot of um, two of roses. You re you, your, um, your world is a reflection of your inner state, of your inner mind. So for some of you, you're realizing, in fact, that you've been attracting your own karmic pathway. And as we do, but you've been like very deep in it, I'm getting. <laughs> Three of Roses I just had in the last reading, which is very beautiful. And the Five of Forces. Summer, winter, I'll have to take a look at that. And 22 is on the bottom. Addison was on the bot was in the last reading as well. And um, I didn't pull that one, so I will read it in this one, right? If you feel guided, you should take a look at my other um, reading that I did. So the other Kashuk Arkad reading for today. I'm not going to read all of the cards. As it's a lot of reading for me because I already read the Three of Forces in that reading. So if you want to know, you know, but uh, <laughs> then you should take a look, right? So 22, Addison. She looks like she is holding a book and has a beautiful angel, right? behind her and other spirit guides right he's holding a bunch of books let's see it's the last card of the majors in this deck a candle casts lights on an open book held by a young woman sitting at her desk her eyes are drawn to the side as if she were distracted from her reading by a curious thought or somebody nearby. She is surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel book blends and whispers, Addison, I arrive, I'm here, I attend you. Addison is a single word, has many, many meanings. First, it affirms your own strengths and focus in the present. You can use it to command words whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. Addison, I'm here and feel yourself attend to a situation on persons before you. Just a minute, guys. Sorry about that. I got distracted. Okay. The word also declares your arrival at a goal and all your wishes coming true. Oh, my goodness. Addison, I arrive and take a moment to see yourself reaching your goals absolutely whatever whenever you get this card know that you're on your way to the results you seek with the help of others and the glorious help of spirit this card also reminds you to be assured that no matter what's happening in your life spirit is always there for you they reach out to you sharing their light and power and serving you in every way from the least to the highest from grandma to the divine an, ex an eternal community attends to you, say, Addison, and take some time to attend them, too. You can act on the promise to God as spirit lifts you upon their shoulders. You are present for each other, and together you arrive at your dreams. It's beautiful. That's the overall energy. It's on the bottom. What's interesting is it's right next to five of scrolls that we had in the last reading, along with Uriel and the Sphinx. <laughs> also came out in that reading. I didn't read Uriel either, which is um, the card right before that, 121. So I'll read that one next. The Archangel Uriel stands before the Sphinx under a full moon. The Sphinx is usually shown with the body of a lion, indicating strength, and the head of a king, showing authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx represents the enigmatic and instructive Destructible and silent holder of truth in the ancient mysteries of the world. Here, Archangel Uriel connects and confers with the great source of mystery. 
This card shows that it's a time for you to do the most important and possibly the most difficult work in your life. The digging and inner discovery that takes you to the deepest self and your deeper powers. Even the great sphinx had to, had to be dug out of many times before the blow, from the blowing desert sands and buried it up to its neck. And you must dig diligently too. You may have to chip away at the rock-like substance of your old belief, the history, so that you can get to the truth inside. But don't worry, you have begun already, and you've made, cons made considerable inroads. There are also someone here to help you, Uriel, whose name means fire of God. You can work directly in your meditations with this archangel for self-understanding, transformation, and guidance. Also be on the lookout for someone in your daily life whom Uriel has sent. This could be a teacher, a mentor, or even a new friend who shares a kinship with you about your inner quests. It's a relationship of great value that comes in a time of profound power. Don't dismiss the importance of this phase. It is the work that leads you to your initiations, to your higher power. So it's very beautiful. Wow. See, and I pulled her out right next to the five of scrolls. And I told you that there are new contracts, right? I'm getting there's multiples. I've been talking all day about scrolls and contracts and so many of them coming out. A woman stands on, on a veranda, I don't know that word, <laughs> overlooking a beautiful valley dotted with light little towns on the hill along the river. Scrolls that she has read lie upon her nearby table. Another scroll is held loosely in her hands while the woman surveys all that she sees. With this card, you'll find that it's time to diversify. Ah, there are many options for you to consider, and you should take a look at them all. Allow yourself to try new things, go to new places, learn new subjects, break out into different directions, and meet new people too. Don't worry about scattering your energies too thin. You're in a period of expansion so use it let yourself go further a field than you planned in the end you'll you will diversify in ways that introduce you to a whole new you 1221 as I say that in 1222 to follow Wow I really like that so that's interesting. I like to turn these over as I've already discussed them because sometimes I go all over. <laughs> so we had the journey in the last reading as well, which is the Seven of Roses. A seaport team with activity as cargo is loaded off onto many different ships. So I'm going to hold it closer for you guys to see. Two women on a small tender boat are, are on their way to the great ship that will take them on their journey. Two men with their trunks and cases wait to follow. This card shows a time for a journey, a move, or a relocation. You may be taking your work or creative endeavors into a whole new direction, whether figuratively to a new industry or literally to a new city. However, the journey occurs, it is sure to take you to new places and great opportunities. Although it may require leaving something safe behind, that is not time for staying safe in the harbor. It's time for finding and exploring new worlds, so get packed. Wow. And this card is right in between the King of Roses and the King of Forces, so you might need to be leaving somebody behind. Right? Karmic Trenches is underneath the King of Roses. The King of Forces here is right next to the Master Artisan. I realize there's two forces here too. Four of Forces and Five of Forces. Where to go next? <laughs> Four of Forces. The spring card upright shows a budding tree and flowers beginning to bloom. It is one of the season cycle cards and indicates that you are entering a time of planting and active preparation, just as spring is very full time for the farmer who is tilling the ground and planting his crops. So let yourself put in a little bit more effort. 
now and you lay the groundwork for the time of head. Remember, it's a very creative time and we're getting ready to have this new moon in Leo season. Timeless reading, though. You're getting the confirmation that it's a very important time now, whatever you find this, right? Make sure you engage in this extra activity with joy and optimism. You are always planning your energy into the Akashic record of your life so you can work toward your goals, remember. Right? So it's interesting. Okay. So, um, let's just go to the five of forces. And then the second seasonal card is reveals how best to spend your energy at this time. This beautiful sunlit sky of summer overlooks farmers working hard on their growing grounds. So, summer is a yang time of great activity, so it's your notice to get going. Action is an important part of the cycle, and it can take many forms. There may be something that you can do to accelerate your personal life. This may also be a perfect time to take steps towards your personal goal goals, perhaps to get more exercise, plan social events, have fun. You might also want to reflect on what actions. You might also reflect on what actions or perspective would attract a new romantic a new romance or enhance your love life. This card tells you to consider what needs to be done so go for it. Okay. This cycle is the perfect time to create and smile, self-loving energy and project it outward for the world to see. Also don't be surprised if a trip is coming your way. This card implies movement of some kind so be ready we're getting a lot of movement cards if you take a look at my last reading where we had like the train next to the journey card which is two movement cards and another movement card <laughs> all right I think I have the forest scrolls too, but I'm not sure. But like I said, their readings are building and a lot of oh, these are in the other one. Okay. The karmic trenches. In a field meant to be planted, a man dirty from his efforts stands knee deep along a long trench. The seeds wait to be planted, yet he continues to dig deeper and deeper. There are other rows plowed and ready for planting, but they are ignored. The card reveals a difficult pattern in your life, a pattern of self-defeating feelings, though actions that you've brought forth from previous incarnations. Why I stopped here is because I, I, it's going line with my readings. Like earlier I said it's like one of the readings I did. I mean, you should just look at all my readings today, but if you don't see them because you're catching it on a different day. Um maybe it's, it's titled maybe you are on your divine pathway and don't even know it the enemy will always chase you and throw illusions is what i labeled that one see and i was talking about because you're in all this fight or flight mode i'm getting this energy is it's like somebody's been in that energy for such a long time like in this fighting mode that you're not realizing it, it it's um outdated patterning and thinking and um like i said you're just so used to digging and, you, and you, you're in just you're so used to it's like always seeing somebody in the same light too people are ever changing you're not the same person that you were yesterday that you were a week ago that you were weeks ago that you were years ago we're ever changing and evolving and you can literally change overnight sometimes by processing things differently realizing things you know to forgiving you know a deep wound that you have that that changes something about you to let you know there's there's always things that, you know, that's why you really should never hold on to stuff like against people because we're ever changing. If that person did something wrong, it's because they were in need of some healing, some sort of lesson, some sort of something or whatever. Like you never, you don't surely know, right? But you, you just, you don't hold on to those things. So... 
somebody, it's they're missing something because of how they're so focused on something. It's like you put yourself in these, I mean, I mean, ultimately, you put yourself in it because karma or whatever, but it was a mindset. You, the same, you're the one that has to get yourself out of that trench. And it's like you'll give and be given resources. Like I'm getting that, you know, it's like if you're in it, like you're thrown into a, you fall into a hole like somebody's thrown a rope down to help you and the rope's right there but you have to take effort grab that rope or whatever let them know you want the help or start pulling yourself up or whatever but instead you're just like you know where I'm going with this so it's letting go of a difficult pattern self-defeating feelings belief thoughts actions like tell like if you tell yourself I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm broken I'm broke then you're not going to see what's there, right? And that's how the enemy can, it can, t can control the mind, right? That's why I say it's the enemy painting illusions, right? You've returned to this life with the intentions on breaking this karmic pattern. But you get pulled into the old thoughts and behaviors. You've been digging yourself deeper into a karmic trench that gets harder and harder to escape. This pattern is not unknown to you. You recognize it in your relationships and your jobs. And, and so things that you're noticing that are repeating themselves. You get out of one relationship, you go into another relationship. But you realize that this relationship is just like that relationship. You're like, wow, this is turning out the exact same way, but different person. Why? Hmm. <laughs> you know? It takes time to takes time to take charge of your karma by altering your inner ideas, feelings, and patterns that cause you to make sabotaging choices. Every time you notice yourself making an old choice that digs you deeper into your karmic trench, you can change your mind and your action. Twenty two hundred, as I say that twenty two oh one, twenty two oh two. It's big emphasis on those twos. You can change your mind and your action. This will require your conscious effort every step of the way. Without such work, you could go lifetimes bearing yourself into the same feelings. But when your commitments to making change every day, you can dig yourself out. Sometimes it's people, unfortunately. Sometimes people that we attract at a lower vibration can get us stuck in those things. Also, like, if you're one where you always listen to what other people have to say, or other people always have something to say about you, they could be making you feel... It's like, literally, like, say you're in that hole. They're in the hole with you, right? And somebody keeps throwing in a ladder, well, they're, or throwing in help or whatever. They're, like, throwing it out. <laughs> you know, like, you might be unaware that this help is coming to you, but they keep sabotaging it, you know? I don't know why I just got that. That's awful, right? Some, unfortunately, some people are scared of changing growth. Some people like the familiarity. Some people actually like that. That um, it's sad, but it's like um, some people like the attention that they receive for being broken like that pity energy it's like some people like that and they're fine with that because with that it's like they're going to get attention but they don't have to do a lot they get to stay comfortable it's like some people have just shut down and it's like they're they're normally the chaos causers too because they they normally will create chaos to get attention and sometimes it, it's just the trauma is too much they, they don't want to heal it they just want to be that way and they're just going to keep coming back, right? And maybe that's just their polarity to be a negative, to be in their shadow side, which, you know, this world's all about polarity and you got it, you're going to have light without the darkness. So maybe just that's their, and, you know, their purpose and a way to identify it actually is they, a beautiful reader talks about this and it's enlightened me so much for my journey to see it that they come off as being robotic. She says that. They, um, it's like you can tell that they're just repeating the same paradigm 
the same thing like over and over and over again and it is it's kind of like they're so detached and disconnected from their spirituality and their soul that they they don't even realize they're stuck and and those beings like you're you could try to save them over and over and over and over and over but you're not going to because of free will that's why so a lot of you could be stuck in these pathways with these people that um, the only way that they're going to find their ways by themselves and the way that you can help them is by not enabling them that's the only way and it's leaving them behind unfortunately because the closest that you can get to people is through the heart so when you pull your energy back, they don't get to keep going on being the robotic ways. You know what I mean? Now, unfortunately, a lot of them, you know, they might just, if they were shut off from love to begin with, then you really didn't get to their heart. But for those of you that did make an impact on somebody's heart, maybe you are going to be able to help them by pulling your energy back and you walking away because you disconnecting is going to disrupt their, like wake them up, right? And maybe get them to go to divine sort like what is wrong with me why did they leave? it's going to make them get in that place of like why did i lose them what what happened you know what i mean and then maybe it could get them to change themselves not just for you because to me you go back they're going to fall back to the same paradigm the same thing that they were comfortable in but if they move on to another relationship they're always going to remember right so hopefully that can cause them to change a little bit or maybe uh, so that's what I mean like you you even though I get it and that's been one of the hardest things for me to realize pulling back our energy leaving them behind right so there's that I feel like I'm closing out these contracts as I'm flipping them over for some of you <laughs> And maybe it is. Maybe I'm giving the realization. So you can close off that contract now. Done. You And literally for some of you, that's what it is. You just, even if you don't know the way out, if you tell divine source, like, all right, I'm done with this person. Show me my way out. Then they do and they will. So close out that contract, right? Right next to it's wishes fulfilled. Let's read that one. Five of keys. The scene is a bright and full storeroom, a larder for a sizable and successful estate. Inside are keys and coins, wines and spices. All within the room are a number of baskets filled with bounties of fruit, vegetables, breads, flowers, sugars, and grains. Even the many windows look out at the expanse, expanse of your world. This card is a sign that the time has come for your, for your wishes to be fulfilled and your dreams to be realized. Difficulties may have challenged you for a time, but even in, in these, victory is assured. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired plants coming. The keys to your castle are yours. Celebrate. And that's so beautiful and interesting. Because in my reading this morning, I told you to take a look at it. I'm talking about how hungry I am. <laughs> I actually had to go because I'm like, there's nothing I want to eat. I just want fresh fruits and vegetables. I literally look at it. Now they're talking about all this. What are they telling me? <laughs> That's definitely a little message for me, right? Because I know that I have been hung up in my karmic trenches for far too long. And my baskets of beautiful fruits and vegetables are not here. So, there's that. Wait, did I stop reading that? No, that was it. Beautiful. I wish as well. All right. Done. <laughs> wish is coming. Look, karmic trenches. I almost left it flip back over. No, don't go back. Wow, I feel like we're closing all these out. We read in them. Let's go. <laughs> Normally I don't, but so this is a special reading. You're getting you're getting all the readings. Normally a lot of it's I lose patience, I guess. Eight of keys. It is hard for me to sit so low. That's my ADHD. I get bored with routine and and patterns but I can sure stay in a damn karmic cycle. Maybe that's why I keep doing my same karmic cycle over and over again, multiple people, I don't know. 
I missed it out. Okay. 80 keys. Inside a bright and bustling artisan workshop, apprentices are busy at their workbenches, which are arrayed with beautiful fruits of their labor. The master artisan pours a number of beautiful shining gems into the open hands of one of his apprentices. This card indicates that you now have the opportunity to offer your talents, your purpose, and your gifts to the world, making a contribution to many. Don't be shy and don't hold back what you have to share. It's not time to hide your light under a basket. Wow, 3023, I looked up as I say that. As a master, as a matter of fact, you may now find yourself teaching or training your skill sets to others. You may also be demonstrating your gifts and performing your talents publicly. Even if your gifts lie in the ability for loving, compa compassionate care, you will be sharing those gifts with others. In this period of time, you can build your reputation and take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. So take action, put yourself out there, and let yourself shine. There is much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to the world. Wow. That's very beautiful. I like that. Then, <laughs> okay. Last two are the kings, right? The king of roses and the king of forces. Hmm. Let's see here. Remember, the karmic trenches was underneath the king of roses. But however you feel it fitting, that's my recent past position. Doesn't always mean that, but let's see. This card shows a man holding two roses, a red and a white, demonstrating a balance of passion and purity. At his feet are the yellow roses for healing and creativity. This is the king of love, a man who is balanced and well-rounded. When he appears upright in your spread, he indicates that a potential union could be at hand, either in friendship, business, or even romance. Whether this is a new relationship or the blossoming of an old one, this man brings tender-hearted and thoughtful support. He is also someone who could be helpful in your personal life, especially where home and family issues are concerned. Whether the King of Roses is you or another man, the role of a husband or a father is now operating to create a happy home and family. This card also lets you know that you are ready to stand up for yourself and take loving but considerable action on your own behalf, and it's time for increasing love and compassion, which starts well within. I really feel that that's what it is, that, that it's your energy, and you're leaving behind the karmic things. But then there's this King of Forces that was right next to the journey that could be traveling towards you that you could be going off with. Let's see. So the King of Forces is a man standing by a stream and surrounded by different animals in the woods. The power of nature is all around him, and the earth below is his feet is the running water by and the star-filled nebula in the sky above. Yet he is a force himself, exerting calming influences on the wolf and the rabbit, which are his natural enemies. Did you hear that? Yet he is a force himself, exerting calming influences on the wolf and the rabbit. 3322, as I say that, which are natural enemies. Because I've been talking a lot about 3331, 3333, not letting the enemy destabilize you. Fighting the enemy, or challenging the enemy, I should say, with love, not with... I've been talking a lot about this all week, not fighting the enemy with fire, letting it with love, not giving you those energies, not letting it stabilize you, not giving into fear, holding the frequency... Upright, this card indicates the presence of a man who has a powerful and positive energy. He comes with good intentions. Gentleness, honesty resonates from him. If you don't know this man yet, this, an <laughs> this energy will be coming into your life soon. He could bring support from a special project, a work issue, or just your life in general. He may also be a possible love interest. So in order to be open to receiving a man of honor, make sure you engage in honoring and being tender towards yourself. For you or a man around you, there could be a position coming in any of the careers natural to the king of forces, such as electronics, astronomy, 
physics, geology, alternate fuel, any of the earth sciences and new industries in the environmental care. Any activities connecting with earthly energies and, na and nature are beneficial at this time. Whether you are a male or female, this is also re reveals an important side of yourself. Feel the balance and beauty of nature and know the powerful forces always moving within and around you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is epic. And that is the card that is closing out this reading. So that's it, guys. With that being said, I'm sending love and light to all of you. Definitely like, share, subscribe. You know, definitely. Um, it claims the energy. Lets me know what resonates with you. The more you guys interact and connect with me, the more you feel my energy, the more I feel yours. The more you come out in the readings, too. Know that. Love and light to all of you. Bye.